For the best in California comfort food in a friendly environment, come to Emily's Kitchen in Montgomery Village for breakfast and lunch with fresh soups daily along with sandwiches and salads. A neighborhood gathering place right near Montgomery High School. It's Emily's Kitchen. We're at Santa Rosa High School for North Bay League girls basketball and this a battle for second place in the North Bay League between the old rivals Montgomery and Santa Rosa. LaDonna St. Louis being introduced to the crowd hoping to have a big game for the Lady Vikes no matter what the sport. This rivalry is always a good one and the Santa Rosa Lady Panthers are especially fired up here tonight in front of a large crowd at Santa Rosa High School. Early going here, Santa Rosa comes up with a steal. Bella Passi takes it away. Sarah Howard to Kelly Lucan, and she lays it in to give Santa Rosa their first basket of the night as the Lady Panthers take the lead. Now here's Emily Cotting bringing it up the floor. This time she gets it back out to Sarah Howard who calmly sinks the outside shot to make it five to one Santa Rosa. And right away, Steve Bell takes a timeout with his Lady Vikings. Talking about getting back on defense. Out of the timeout, Destiny Grayer banks one in from the top. I thought I heard her call glass on that. It's five to four. Now it's Grayer with the pass to Shayla Newman who turns and scores. At this point, midway through the quarter, it's 10-7 Santa Rosa, but Emily Cotting changes that as she gets the steal, the step back, and the basket. Two minutes left in the quarter, and it's now 12-7. Montgomery trying to close the quarter out strong. Jessica Perez with the left hand. Sweet move to the rack as she scores, but Emily Cotting steps out way beyond the arc with 1.29 to go. Santa Rosa leads by six. Jessica Perez, however, gets one more bucket to the Lady Vikes to close out the quarter strong. It's 15 to 11 here at Santa Rosa High School after one to the second quarter now, and it's Ali McCullough in the right place at the right time for Santa Rosa. She gets the offensive rebound and the put back. Strong start to the quarter here for Santa Rosa as Sarah Howard flicks this one in. Nice touch on that to make it 19 to 11. Now it's Howard and Cotting playing a little catch on the left side. Howard gets it back out to Cotting who steps out way beyond the arc again and hits the bottom of the net. That's a three. 22 to 17 at this point as Montgomery takes another timeout. Maria Lopez posting up down low. Nice, strong move as she scores. But Montgomery would score the final seven points of the quarter, hit some free throws, and tie this thing up at 24 24 as the ladies head to the locker room and the Santa Rosa Panther Spirit Squad entertains the crowd here at the half. To the third quarter now and it's Kelly Lucan who starts the second half the way she did the first half goes behind the screen and scores and Santa Rosa grabs some early momentum now it's Bella Passi who steps out watch this nice ball fake and she scores Bella Passi adding to the lead for Santa Rosa Maria Lopez now goes with the left hand spins back with the right and scores a four-point lead for Santa Rosa at this point. LaDonna St. Louis, however, will change that as she gets open from beyond the arc. No one picks her up, and she drains it to make it 30-29. to Now down by four again, and LaDonna St. Louis hits again from beyond the arc to make it 33-32. to Good ball game. Sarah Howard now gets a big three right there. Santa Rosa scores the final six points of the quarter to make it 39 to 33 heading to the final eight minutes and Sarah Howard off one foot hits the fader to add to the lead. It's now an eight point lead. Check out the range however by Cotting who had finished the night with 17 points. Nice three pointer there. Destiny Grayer trying to get the momentum back. She gets the bounce pass to Shayla Newman or weaves her way through the defense and scores. However, the lead is double digits. Maria Lopez out to Bella Passi. That is her spot. And she nails another one to add to the lead. Here comes Montgomery now. Kiana Hurd off the bench and she scores as Montgomery plays hard all the way down the stretch. Final possession of the night for Santa Rosa. They run out the clock and Solara Berry gets a basket at the buzzer to make the final 56 to 37. Santa Rosa now 10 and eight. Overall, five and two in league, and the boys will take over the court here at Santa Rosa High School on Monday night here on YSN365.com.